All right, guys, so we've gone over our scale. We are ready for the lesson. We're going to do this a little differently than we have in the past. In the past, we did it by classrooms. This year, we're doing it by grades. Because let's be honest, it was just easier for Ms. Hinkle that way. So we are going to click on Angel. And we are going to look for third grade. Here we are, third grade, Mrs. Hinkle, and a rainbow. So we're going to click on that, third grade. And then I need to find my name. Well, I am new student number one because that's what my card says. So I click on that. That's my name. But you guys are obviously going to have your real names on here. And then new student number one, my password is the picture on the card. So my picture is a wizard, but not everybody has the same picture as me. So if you're a princess, you're going to click on the princess. If you're a ninja, you're going to click on the ninja. But I'm a wizard, so I have to click on the wizard. If you don't click on the correct picture, it's not going to let you log in. So I click sign in. I'm going to type my age. I'm 11. Continue. And I'm in course two. Now, I'm going to start off on stage five because these up here, these stages that we're skipping are algorithms. You already know what an algorithm is. We've been working with algorithms for the last three years, most of you. The algorithm and down here, the maze sequence, sequencing. You've done that before. You've done that for the last two, three years. So we're going to start off with reviewing getting loopy. Again, this is something that we've done before, but we haven't had this as much as the other two. So we're going to start off on stage five. So I'm going to click on the unplugged activity and I'm going to watch this video. So press play. And you're going to watch this whole video. Okay, so now it's finished. So up here, I look at the orange button that says finished, continue to next stage. So it's going to ask me a question that I should be able to solve after watching the video. So how would you simplify this sequence with loops? Here's the sequence, move forward, get nectar. So move forward is repeated. Let's see how many times. One, two, three. So how many times would I have to repeat it? Three. Good job. So here's my loop code block. Repeat three times, move forward. Okay, that would work. So it could be this one. This says four times. That's an L. This has it repeated and then adds two more, so that's not correct. This says repeat three times, so it could be the first one or the last one. Okay. The second part is get nectar. It repeats. Let's count how many times. One, two, three, four. Four times. So this says repeat four times, get nectar. So this one's correct. The reason this one is not correct is because everything is inside this one block. So even though this says repeat get nectar four times, it's inside the repeat three. So it would do all of this three times, which I don't need. So the correct answer is the first one, submit. Okay. And it's going to take me to the puzzle. And up here, he has directions. Can you get me to the pig using five of the same blocks. So I need to move forward. And they already told me how many? Five. So one, two, three, four, five. You want to make sure that you read these because when we make mistakes, they're going to put clues up here for you. Press run to make it go. Continue. 
continue. You're going to watch this video. When you're done with the video, you're going to click on the X. And again, here's directions. Suddenly, a magical block appears. With the repeat block, you can loop code over and over. Can you get to the pig by creating a loop that uses only one move forward block inside of a repeat block? Okay, so repeat five times and I need him to move forward. And I press run. And again, if you struggle, you can go back and rewatch the video because the video is going to help you with moving forward. <laughs> Did you like this puzzle? Get me to the pig. You can only use one move forward block this time. Okay, so look, it doesn't even let me. I'm going to have to drag this up there and stick that in. <laughs> and you're going to keep going. At the end, you're going to be asked questions again to check for your understanding. Match the puzzles to the block codes. So, this one is move forward, one, then he's going to turn left, and then he's going to move forward three times, then turn right, move forward. So that's this one. And this one is move forward, one, two, okay. I don't want to give you all the answers. So now we've moved on to the artist loops. So you need to read the directions. Let's draw this robot's head. Can you make the square with sides that are 100 pixels? Click OK. So this is a little different. Now you're moving forward and you're deciding how far, how many pixels. So it's already put in there for you. So let's press run just to see what happens. Okay, I need to co keep coding. Something's not quite right. So I drew this one line. So now I need him to turn right and then move forward to draw another line. Turn right. Move forward. So I have the same thing happening over and over and over again. Move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right, move forward. Hmm, let's count how many times I do this. One, two, three, four. So instead of having all of these, could I put the move forward, turn right inside of a repeat? Absolutely. Let's trash all of this. And I, how many times did I do it? Four, because there's four sides to square, right? Move forward, turn right. And look, I can also set a color or I could do a random color. Let's try this. Again, watch the videos. It's going to help you with how to solve the puzzle. Here we're going to use. And definitely read the directions at the top. Here is the same puzzle that we just solved, but this time we can only use one move forward block and one turn. So I kind of helped you on the last one. So you're going to do the same thing that we just did. So, you guys are going to keep on going with this. If you finish all of these challenges, you're going to keep on going and keep on going. The videos are going to help you. This will help you. You can always start over. All right, let's code. 